All right, folks. Uh, we're out here with the uh, the the new DJI um, Air 2S. The S is the latest model, just released, a, uh, you know, a week or so ago. Um, it features a uh, one-inch sensor uh, now and uh, improved optical avoidance by adding uh, more sensors, kind of to the front top of the drone, and also. Um, it has the new um, version of OcuSync they call O3 right now. So uh, we are here at the beach here this morning to test the new Master Shots uh, features. So uh, you can see me standing on top of the uh, dune here on the crosswalk, and um, you know also let me show you this uh, this new zoom feature they have on here. Okay, we're in um, we're filming at 4K 30 right now, so let me just zoom in. Hello everybody. Yeah, the zoom works real nice on this thing here. So uh, let me zoom back out again here. For the, oh, I'm zooming the wrong way. Got to get my zoom correct here. So okay, we're back out all the way again. So now, okay, on the um, you know we're using the uh, I iPhone 12 Pro, um, not the real big one. I don't know what they call the uh, the bigger screen. But I got the the 12 Pro regular. Okay, so we're gonna go over into um, the uh, on the right hand side of the screen. I think it looks like a little film strip there. We're gonna go down to master shots. Okay, that's a little tutorial here. Um, you know, I've kind of watched it online, so I don't really need to see this here. So go away. Um, okay, so see how wants to put that dot on me here. So um, we're kind of gonna go see if we can go up a little bit higher here because um, I know obstacle avoidance turned on, but. Um, you know, I don't know. Okay, we went too high. Now the dot disappeared. Okay, let's come back down again. Okay, there the dot's back again. So I guess you can only go so high here. We're at 39 feet. Let's try to go a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, we're almost at 50 feet. Let's go see if we can. Okay, okay, that, it didn't like 52 feet, but it did like, uh, so you gotta stay under 50 feet. So we're gonna, oops. E49 doesn't work. Let's go down a little bit. Okay. Oops. Okay, so got to be 48 feet or less, at least in the situation I'm standing here. So let me hit the uh, the plus button here. Okay, we're going to... Uh, it doesn't give you any options here. It's estimated flight two minutes. So let's hit the start button. Tap to set flight uh, route pre pre Priya, parameters. Uh, okay. Okay, start. I don't know that what that tapping did there, but three. Start. Okay, two, now it's going to start. I, again, I don't know what it meant by hitting flight parameters. Okay, it's going to do. It's going to use the uh, zoom here. Now the thing is, you can only do this in 1080p. Uh, because it wants to use all these great zooming features now a lot of people say you get props in the shot uh on this master shots mode here uh especially if it's windy so there's a way to avoid that by hitting um a function which i will show you later but i am not going to uh hit it because i want the obstacle avoidance enabled since uh i'm on the beach here but i'm not far from like a home and there's a good kind of a tree here so I don't exactly know what this is going to do yet so I'm going to keep all my obstacle avoidance on for right now and hopefully we don't get any of our, of our props in the shot here so it's doing a drone it even tells me in the screen now it's doing the droney feature right now and I kind of put it over here where you know the kind of, kind of the back of the drone is to the sun I mean right now we're going to have a overexposure issue here because um you know, it's uh, about uh, 10 30 in the morning. The sun came up like, uh, you know, I don't know, between 6 6 30. So the sun's been up for a while. It's pretty high. Uh, it's pretty bright. Uh, and I don't I don't have ND filters for this yet because I ordered the standard kit, which doesn't come with the ND filters. And um, Freewell hasn't released their ND filters. They have them on their website, but they're not shipping yet. So, uh, there are no uh, ND filter options for this drone yet outside of the ones that come with the fly more kit. Now, she's way up there now. Uh, I'm, it's a sunny. I can't even read the um, all the um, 
stuff on the screen here, the numbers, but uh, I mean, it's right above my head doing whatever it's trying to do here. And, uh, you know, if it's just following me, I wonder if I move around, whether it's still going to follow me. Like, I wonder if I mess it up by moving. You know, I wonder if it recognizes a moving point of interest. Let me go stand on this bench here, which uh, the, the sand so flooded the bench is only inches higher than the sand. So, um, okay, I think it, it's done. It's done doing what it was doing there, so um, I guess we could view the master shot later. So, okay, there we go. Okay, it's following me. Okay, there the drone's finally moving. All right, she she's moving. Let me, let me turn turn directions on it. Going like a circle. Yeah, it's awful bright out here, and it's still doing a good job of. Uh, you know, catch me. Let me walk towards it. Run towards it. I'm making it back up now. So, yeah, it's, you know, back to track is working great. Yeah, there's no problem with back to track here. So, let's stop it. Uh, let's do a uh, point of interest. Let's go kind of quickly here and go and see if it, here it goes, it's a, uh, you know, doing a nice orbit, perfect orbit around me. I'll keep facing it. Okay, she's orbiting really great. All right. I'm going to say that's a complete orbit. So let's hit stop. All right, so we've got some stuff tested out here. Uh, active track, orbiting, master shots. So we're knocking off some of the uh, intelligent flight modes here. Pretty good. Um, what else to try here? Let's check our time. We still have, uh, oh boy, we're getting low in battery life. 27% battery life. Probably time to go pop another battery. This battery probably wasn't 100% when I started off because I was doing like updates and what have you in it. So, um, well, instead of flying it back, uh, maybe we could just, uh, you know, act the track it back. Yeah, why well, fly it back? Let it just, like I do with Scudio sometimes. I just, you know, instead of flying Scudio back home, I just, I just let it follow me home. We got all those obstacle avoidance now, so it should be good, right? We got DJI care refresh anyways, but uh, yeah, anyhow, we got to, you know, we're, we're flying in Class G today, you know, unrestricted airspace. I checked before you fly Kitty Hawk air map. There were no flight restrictions of any kind today. Uh, there's a few, few people on this beach, but I'm not anywhere near them. Um, and I've got, you know, cut a line of sight the drone. I mean, I got such line of sight, I mean I could I could I could hit it with a seashell here at Sidar and Close. So uh we're good today, we're good. Alrighty, let's see here. We're down to twenty one percent battery life. Surprised it hasn't beat me yet. I don't know. I don't think I set the default battery life thing. It's just whatever it's set up from the factory for the uh, the beeping to start when you get low. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna 
stop this mode. I'm going to stop the re recording.